What's up guys, it's JJ. It is currently about 7.30 in the morning. I'm out here on the balcony and I wanted to give you guys a quick word of encouragement and give you something that greatly helped me in my walk with God, right? So we know that the word of God says to pray without ceasing, pray at all times, don't stop. Continually pray, right? But there's something powerful when you go to the secret place in the morning, early in the morning, that's the first thing you do, right? Now in the past, I used to, I'm so used to getting up, checking my phone, wanting to scroll, but I got into the habit of substituting that with either prayer, the word of God, or just worshiping. That was what the game changer was in my walk with God. As people, as children of God, we are called to be lights. We are called to be a kingdom of priests, right? But, but the thing is, before you can pour out, you must be refilled. Right, I'm gonna say again, before you pour out, you must be refilled. It takes the Lord's strength to do a lot of things, right? I'm gonna give you all a verse, Exodus 33, 14. Moses was speaking to the Lord. And Moses, no, the Lord told him, my presence will go with you and I will give you rest. So when we invite the Lord and when we spend time with him, allow his presence in and to saturate us, bro, then we can go out and not be shaken. When I started doing this, I had this overwhelming peace for the day because I'm literally walking with the Prince of Peace. I'm spending time with him the first thing in the morning. The book of Mark, it goes straight into Jesus's ministry. And one of the first days of his ministry, he started in the synagogue and then he goes throughout Galilee, casts out many, the word was many, and it said literally whole towns came to watch him. Before daybreak the next morning, Jesus got up and went out to an isolated place to pray. Later, Simon and the others went out to find him. When they found him, they said, everyone is looking for you. But Jesus replied, we must go on to other towns as well, and I will preach to them too. That is why I came. So he traveled throughout the region of Galilee, preaching in the synagogues and casting out demons. So imagine Jesus' daily schedule, how many people he interacts with, he pours out to, right? And the next morning, what did he do? He specifically woke up before daybreak. The first thing he did was not cast out a demon, was not say be healed, was not tell the wind and the waves to stop. The first thing he did was spend time with his father. Now here's the thing, what if we're like, I'm busy, I'm busy, so was Jesus. I guarantee you nobody had more of a weight than Jesus on this earth, within his ministry, within the burden of him knowing he's going to die and be murdered and slain for the sins of the world. But he still had time for his father. I guarantee this thing is gonna be a game changer for you guys. Let me know how it goes and just start to change your routine. Let the Lord change it. And this thing started, it started as a temporary thing for me, but now it's the only thing I do, the only thing I can do, and I can't get rid of it. Yeah, that's the word I got for you guys. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Please share this video so other believers can see it. And yeah, that's JJ, I'm out.